Hi everybody, welcome back to the stream. I hope everyone's doing good today. We are going to be playing more of Baldur's Gate. Specifically looking around Baldur's Gate. Maybe I can find something. Maybe I won't run into Orin again. Maybe something good will happen because <laughs> so far my playthrough has just been uh, not what I expected so far. Um, so yeah, that's happening. Anyway, thank you guys for being here, especially if you're, you've been here for a little bit for chat. Thank you. Appreciate you. I was struggling because um, he's still trying to do it. My dog is trying to steal stuff off my shelf behind me. And it's funny because Bear never really cared about it before. And then all of a sudden he's like, hey, there's things there that I can take. I don't know if you guys can see him. <laughs> like I don't I don't mind if he you know looks at my stuff I'm just more worried about him taking things that he's not supposed to that he can chew on and he might eat and I really don't want him to do that <laughs> cause there was this like I had this like bear plushie on one of the shelves and I had to hide it because uh, he really really wanted it so <laughs> I'm hoping he won't he just has his head stuck into like one of the one of the shelves there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah, I saw that they dropped it, but I'm not gonna watch it because we're like really close to the release. It's on Friday, so I'm not looking at any more trailers. That's usually what I do. When it gets close to the release, I'm not gonna look at anything anymore. <laughs> you saw you breaking out of jail, now he's the ambition. Probably does. He probably does. He's very mischievous, so I'm just gonna... So if I keep looking back, that's why, okay? Because he's just there behind me. But hi, everybody! How are you doing today? Oh! I, I wanted to show you guys this. Okay, so, um... I, I believe, Castle, you're in the chat right now. I got the dice. Thank you so much for sending me this. I got it, and it's a minty, the minty kind. I say it's the minty kind because it looks like mints to me. I'll show you guys what they look like. Bear thinks they're like treats. Can you see them? They're like mints. So, I am prepared when we do Dark Urge. I'm gonna commit to doing, like, the dice thing. If uh, I roll below a 10, we don't do the Dark Urge option but if i blow above a 10 we do the dark urge option no matter what the choice is and i feel like that's a good idea because i think maybe i'll hesitate because i'm like oh i don't want to kill them or something maybe it's good so that i will actually commit to it <laughs> you know they'll actually commit to it but thank you so much for getting me the dice i appreciate you getting it for me for my birthday it came really fast i was shocked because usually when people get stuff on my um wish wish list it comes out like a, a week or two later so i was shocked when it was like there immediately i was like wow that was fast <laughs> but thank you so much for doing that are you gonna do the murder quest today? yeah i'm probably gonna be doing the murder quest today because there's a lot of them and like i'll just explore anywhere else we haven't been on the map yet i'm just trying not to oh god can, can, can anyone answer this without spoiling is there like a time limit for me to get Lazel from Orin? Or am I like free to like get her when I want? Cause that's kind of like what I've been nervous about. Cause I don't want to like wait too long and then Orin kills her or something. You know? I can't do that. If that happens, I'm restarting the whole game. <laughs> I started Dark Urge myself. I have yet to finish it and play this. Maybe this will be Maybe so. Maybe so. I only have one friend who's doing Dark Urge and she said, it's intense. <laughs> But I'm excited about it. But if the dice makes you kill a Starin, I'll be. Oh god, I hope not. I hope not. No time limit. Oh, thank God. Okay, that's uh, that's good to know. Okay, because I was worried. Because the way that Orin was talking, she's like, "You better hurry before I kill her." And I'm like, "Um, <laughs> what about um Will's dad? Is there a limit to saving him too? Because I know that's another thing. Because Mazora was like, "Hey, if you don't hurry up." He's gonna die. Bear, what are you doing? He's he's licking my bookshelf right now. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why, he, why he's doing that. 
It's scaled for me. Orin has the wizard in my bed. Oh, no! I, but yeah, apparently they pick the people that you don't play with the most, which I, I kind of find surprising because I'm like, I always had Lazelle with me a lot. Like, I switched between Lazelle and Carlac. I believe the only time limit in this game is for near back in the forge. Oh, okay. See, I've seen some people do Dark Urge playthroughs on YouTube, and there's some intense things, surprising revelations I will let's I'm excited about that, but I'm also scared. What do you plan on doing a Starion's quest? Probably in my next recording, I will do his his next. No? Okay. Oh no, if you're behind, you sure you want to be here? I don't want to spoil anything for you, Fifi. <laughs> Just don't kill Gortash just before get- Yeah, I kind of figured that was probably the best way to like handle Will's dad not attacking Gortash first because Will even said to Carl like we can't kill him. My He still has my dad. So I kind of figured that was what I'm probably gonna have to do. I read somewhere it depends on your difficulty. Oh. Well, I'm on the easiest difficulty. I don't know if that helps. <laughs> I know there's a quest that you must absolutely not complete for his father's- DON'T TELL ME! I'm hoping that I- I save Will's dad? But, oh god, it's like nerve-wracking. Or install Halsen for me, he's so unbothered by it all. <laughs> How far are you into the- I'm in Act 3, just like the beginning of, uh, entering the city. Like, the lower city? That's where I'm at. I thought it was only Lazelle Orin can take, so I took her with me, and there, lo and behold, Gale's there. No! Poor Gale, dude. If uh, Orin st uh, steals Halston, I'm ducking my PS5 battery. Yes! <laughs> Hi, William! How are you? Bear, honey, can you please stop doing that? He's, he's just licking the walls. I don't know why he's doing this. My dog is just like licking everything. Babe, why are you licking my bookshelf? He's not hungry, okay? Like I fed him before the stream started, so that's not the problem. Thank you for the birthday wishes. My birthday was on the 10th, in case you didn't know, but thank you. Bear, no. Oh god. Hey, hey. Are you trying to electrocute yourself, sir? Hey! My dog is crazy! <laughs> Plotting something. He's plotting to like. I don't know why he's so interested in that corner. It might be a bug too, because he likes playing with bugs, and I hate that because he likes to bring them in the house, and I don't know that he has a bug in his mouth. He's one of those dogs. <laughs> Maybe he's being dramatic because he didn't get that stuff. That wouldn't shock me whatsoever. He's probably doing that because I took the bear away. <laughs> Would not shock me whatsoever. He's acting like that. He's a little baby. How's your, how's your day? Pretty good so far. I mean, I didn't really do much except go to like grocery shopping in the morning. But yeah, it's been great. <laughs> I put a hat on a stair and I swear it makes his ears bigger. Does it? How do you think Clementine would react to the symbiote Peter? Do you think do you think she would help him? Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> no. <laughs> How old is Bear? He's he's about nine months old. It's October, right? Yeah, he's a, he's nine months old. He's still a little baby. <laughs> it's just 
I don't know what he's doing. Oh my gosh. But when you said it might be a bug, at first I thought it was like real life. Just there can't be bugs. I play too much. V no, I meant like actual insects. Like he brings them in the house, and I'm scared of them. So that doesn't help me. Cause last time he tried to bring a whole like I don't even know what it was, but it was a big ass bug. He tried to bring it in the house, and I'm like, no. I'm I'm always. Have you seen those videos of? Uh, what do you call- what are they called? Like the cicadas? You know those things in the tree that make like a really loud noise? Like a loud buzzing noise? I'm always scared that he's gonna find one, pick it up, and bring it into the house. Because he's not- he's not afraid of them. He's not afraid of anything. So I'm- I'm really worried one day he's just gonna do that. And then I'm gonna find a cicada inside my house. <laughs> uh, there's a cowboy hat. Uh, you can- you can b b buy and I think a certain looks- I- I actually think I have one in my chest. I'm gonna- I'm gonna put it on him. We'll put it on him. One time my dog brought in a baby rabbit poor- Oh no! Not the rabbit! <laughs> my dog is looking at me like she wants some and I think that's bear communicating through the dog weave. <laughs> probably. Probably. There's um- I told you guys about the neighborhood cats that we have. There's like a lot of them in, in my neighborhood. Generally, everybody in in this area just takes care of them. They don't live with anybody. Just leave food up for them and stuff. But the funny thing is, like, they always hang around my house because of Clementine and Bear. And there's one cat that loves to like taunt them. I really think it really wants to play with Bear because like it. I always see it come close to our like fence to like look at him, and Bear gets really excited. And I would love it if they played. It's just I don't know how he would react to a cat. You know, he's never been around cats. <laughs> Clementine loves cats. I, I think she scares them though because like she gets so excited. It looks like she's gonna attack you, but she's not. She's just really excited. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm scared of that one day my cat bring me a rat or something. Oh god, that happens a lot. To people, right? They just the cats always bring rats and stuff. Isn't that like a the cat's way of saying you're a terrible hunter or something like that? <laughs> I've heard that that was what that was. My cat brought me a dragonfly once, and I tried to help to put it outside, and it wriggled in my hand, and I screamed, "Oh God!" See, I wouldn't want to. I know they're harmless, but I would freak out too. My boy brought a a boar hoof into the house. What the hell? Really? <laughs> That's so random. You know, Bear bought me nail clippers one time. I don't know where the fuck he found nail clippers, but he brought it into the house. It was all like rusted and stuff. That was the most random thing he's ever brought me. It was a pair of rusted nail clippers. Don't know where he got it from. He brought me that, and then um, also the other weirdest thing he's ever brought me was a, a seashell. I don't live near the ocean or anything, so I don't know where he got a seashell from. <laughs> That was also very random. My cat always brings bread, uh, dead- is it dead birds, lizards, and mice? And he always gets the huge ones, oh my god. My, my sister used to have a dog named, uh, Macy. One day Macy brought, uh, a sis uh, my sister a rat, oh god. That was like halfway decomposed, Ew. <laughs> God, I don't know. I genuinely don't know where where dogs just find things. They just grab whatever. Even cats too. Where do they get these things from? <laughs> My cat used to bring a uh, big ass. Wait, cats? My kitten brings me crickets. Oh my gosh. Still chirping crickets. Oh god, <laughs> no. <laughs> I would just simply pass away. I can't do bugs. Like, I try- I'm- I don't like killing bugs either, especially if it's like a harmless bug. I don't like killing them. Oh, hi, Clemmy. I don't like killing them, you know? Um, I always try to, like, sweep them outside if I can, or I ask Adam to get it because I'm too scared. Um, but it's like, at the same time, I don't like being around bugs. Like, just- just stay away from me. <laughs> I don't want to see it. Yeah, we have boars in the forest near our house, and I guess the ferret brought uh, the hoof into my garden, and my dog found it. That is so random. But yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Did I tell you guys that Bear tried to fight a skunk one time? Because he didn't know what it was. <laughs> 
one time my cat brought me a bird. It was alive. I opened the window and let it fly away. Well, I'm glad it got away. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean rats. No, no, you're you're good. You're good. <laughs> I was about to say another cat. <laughs> You're good, you're good. Rats are still- Like, I- I think r rats and mice are cute, but like, you know, don't be in my house. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could hear Clown, but she's upset. She's upset. She's still gotta wear her little cone. I think Clementine is gonna be a lampshade for Halloween, because she's gotta wear that until the end of this month. Till her arms healed up. It's, it's doing good. It's looking better. Maybe she'll be, be able to take it off before the end of this month, but it's looking like she's gonna have to wear it till the end of October. And I was just saying she'll probably dress up as a lampshade for Halloween. <laughs> Did he get sprayed? No, thank God, because you know, I <laughs> the, he was like, he was, he was like charging at it. It was like outside of her fence. But you could see it like walking along like the edge of the fence and I, I didn't want Bear to like go up to it to get sprayed. So what I did was I grabbed his squeaky bone and I squeaked it and then he immediately turned around and went back inside. Thank goodness he gets distracted so easily. <laughs> if that was Clementine, absolutely not. She would not she she would not listen to me. I can't get her in. If she sees something and Clem will just keep barking at it until it goes away. That's- that's the difference between my dogs. Clementine's very alert. Bear is just easily distracted. <laughs> also, hi everybody just joining the stream. Oh god, not a roach. Oh. Yeah, the lampshade from Pixar, that's probably what she'll dress up as Halloween. I saw this, um, costume. I might get it for Bear because, like, when I put stuff on Bear, he doesn't notice. Unlike Clem, Clem will notice, so... I saw this costume though for dogs. It's like a little saddle and there's like a guy holding his hat. It's like supposed to be like a rodeo thing and I thought about getting that for Bear so he could wear that for Halloween. <laughs> I've become one of those people that dresses up their dogs for Halloween. Squeaky Bone always wins over my dog. <laughs> Every single time. Your Persian cat brought a bat? And it was still alive? Oh god! I wouldn't know what to do either. That is so random though. Just hey, I bought a bought a bat for you. Okay, I'm gonna I don't think there was a new update for Baldur's Gate, was there? I haven't played in a while. The last time I played Baldur's Gate was like last week. <laughs> My cat bought me a spider and I swear I almost flew off the couch when it dropped next to me. Ah! <laughs> I would scream too, don't worry. Do I have a Discord? Yes I do. It's uh, The link is in the description. Uh, that goes for anyone who's looking for my social media sub. All of it's in the description, you can find it there. You okay, Thumper? <laughs> He's going off to bed. Okay, I gotta remember Clementine is laying behind me. Just sometimes I don't know that she's laying behind my chair. <laughs> do your do your pets do that? They just lay behind your chair and I don't know that they're because like she's so quiet when she enters a room. Oh my gosh. Anyway, um let me start the game. Hang on a second. Just gonna move stuff around. Sorry guys, I gotta I gotta stop the music for now. We'll listen to it later. Okay. Alright, let me I think I have to switch this though. Hang on a sec. Because it's still stuck on Cyberpunk when I beat it the other day. By the way, if anyone's wondering if you should play Phantom Liberty, good game. Good exp expansion, honestly. Highly recommend it. Honestly, cats really do to try to help their owners is just never helpful. 
I feel like that's like for every animal, right? Like bear, bear's pretty funny. When he finds something, he gives it to me, and he's like, "Look what I found! I did good, right?" And it's like, it's a piece of grass. <laughs> okay, let's get started. I'm, I'm, I don't know why I'm so nervous to like continue this because it's so weird not having Lazel with me. You know, I know I have Carlock, but damn, taking Lazel is like horrible. Taking anybody would be horrible, but Lazel specifically, I don't like that. Did you build your PC or get? I, I built it. Technically, I did not build it. A friend built it for me, but it's built. <laughs> when I, I, I do plan on like getting another pc when i can because i do want to upgrade it. it i've had this one since 2019 i think the beginning of 2019 like it's still good obviously you can run a boulder skate and stuff but i'd like to build another one again i just don't i just don't know what would be cheaper because back then it, it used to be very cheap to build your own but i think recently if you buy a pre-built one it's more cheaper i don't know Things change. I have no idea. Okay, so... Oh, I was gonna do something! Right, okay, so we're gonna go back into... Oh god, hang on a second. I have to turn on the nudity filter. Sorry, no no boobs for you guys. Um, We're gonna load back to when I'm sleeping with Henry. And there's a reason for this. A lot of you were telling me in the comments I should redo the romance scene with Henry because there's some other dialogue he will say. So we're gonna do it. Um, you know, shout out to Larian for letting me sleep with the squid man. Where's that at? Is this it? I think this is it. We're just gonna go here. So we're gonna see some tentacle action again. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> but hey, look, we're getting new dialogue, all right? I broke my headphones and now I'm playing BG3 out loud when a staring sex scene pops up and I have to turn the phone down. Oh no! <laughs> I'm very sorry about that. I hope you get a new, new, new headphones soon so you don't have to do that. <laughs> oh man! Hi Raz, how are you? I have no more oh God! From you. No need to resort to subterfuge. We are okay. true allies. Now, okay, so towards a common goal. So, so you guys know I slept with Mr. Tentacles just for jokes for science, right? Because I wanted to see how his romance is gonna go. But I haven't really been calling out this guy. It's completely obvious that he doesn't really care about my character. He doesn't care about the well being of my character. He's not even in it for the romance. This man. Mind flare is a mind flare. He's not really about that. He's just trying to get his goal And if that means manipulating my emotions, he will do it So I have not been calling him out even though I clearly know what's happening I just wanted to do his romance just to you know for jokes. Okay, so we're gonna call him out this time and see what he says You do a great impression of a human, but you're not fooling me. Your distrust of me will be your undoing Would it make a difference if I let you read my thoughts? Ooh. Ooh, wait, what? Ooh, should I? Oh, I don't know what to- Okay, let me let me see his thoughts first, and then we'll do another one where we don't. Um, yes, show me your thoughts. Who's that? Is that Staleman? Did you like it? The truth. This was the alternative relationship we could have had. Aren't you glad I finessed my methods? But since you insist on thwarting my craft, let us be blunt. You Whoa. are my puppet. Make no mistake, without me, you have no value. You will take me to the brain because you have no other choice. And once we are there, you will do exactly what I tell you to. 
Whoa! You do well to reconsider unlocking your potential. Your puerile attachment to your material form jeopardizes us all. If I must, I will force you. Hold the fucking phone. Okay, wait! So, he charmed her. He charmed her. They were never in love. See, I thought they had a romance thing. Like, he was trying to riz her up like he, he did to me. That's what I thought was happening. So, I guess I guess she did turn him down and was like, No, you're a fucking mind flayer. Why would I do that? And this man hypnotized her. And now he's like, Hey, if you want to keep going down this road, I will do the same thing to you. Damn, dude. He's kind of ruthless. Finally, the mask drops, and you put much effort into it. We are done here. Did he just hang up the call on me? He just ended the call. He just ended the call on me. Hold up. What the fuck? Okay. That's interesting. Very interesting. Like... Here's what I'm- this is why I'm saying this, because this entire time, this man has been trying to be like, Hey, no, I'm on your side. Come on, we have the same common goal. Even though I call him out, I figured he would try to manipulate me more, being like, Listen to- like, this is not the right way. You know that siding with me is the better way. Instead of being so aggressive. I find that kind of fascinating. He got- he just got emotional just then. I don't know, that's just me though. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna load this one. I'm gonna keep the romance one. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but that's that's very interesting, though. I find that he's just so angry. You know, that's that's kind of interesting to me. At least I started in civilized, unlike Henry. Yo, for real. Also, you guys were telling me um, I could have slept with Henry in his like drow form instead of his tentacle form, but I had no idea. So it's all right though. <laughs> I mean, I was gonna free Orpheus anyway. This is not a secret. I've been saying this in my videos. Like, I'm gonna get the hammer regardless. But I just find it interesting that he's not trying to play it up still. It's weird. Anyway, um, I saw... Oh, hey, dog. What we you got for me, Scratch? The dog wags his tail. A small bag clenched between Such his teeth. Such a good teeth. dog. What'd you get me, pup? What is he it? gives in and surrenders. Oh, nice! <laughs> Thanks. I'm gonna pet the dog. You always pet the dog. Scratch his tongue. Lolls. I mean, none of the sides are trustworthy. I think it's good how faster. they set it up like that. Look, all sides. No, I I completely agree. Like, there's still a. I don't know what's gonna happen, right? But my intentions right now are to side with Orpheus at the moment. But I don't know what's gonna happen if I do that. At least we know with the the uh, the emperor. This damn guy is like intentionally going to betray us for the reasons that he had, which is why I've been siding with him so far because it's like I know what you're about at least. What do you want? I've had my eye on you. Okay. Hot as brimstone, jagged as lightning, and seething like the river Styx. Ma'am, are you hitting on There's me? There's something missing, isn't there? You're hungry for pleasures beyond. <laughs> what is going on? Where did this come from? I barely talked to you. <laughs> flesh, blood, what? Bone. Okay, guys, hear me out. We need to do her romance for science, right? <laughs> right? Right? We gotta do her romance for science, right? Um... <laughs> Sounds delicious. What are you suggesting? The ecstasy of agony. Girl, the pain what? of the damned distilled into pure bliss. Beyond every climax <laughs> you hear. Where is this coming from? A death writ large. Oh my god. Smile. Listen, she's hot though. Like, and let's be real. <laughs> when you put your head down to rest, I will sate your most forbidden lust. Oh. Don't. And know the eternal ache of the unknown and the unanswered. 
All right, well, you know, I'll, I'll just... <laughs> I'll just smile. Tonight, then. Oh, God. Okay, when we go to... Will's definitely gonna not like this. He's absolutely going to hate this. Oh, man. Okay, that's gonna be very interesting. All right, let me get the F out of here. Before I make another mistake. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Okay, before I continue... God damn. Um... Oh, where did this guy go? The the painting guy? Remember I saved him? When was that? Act 1? Where did that guy go? This is another one that I need to do, and I think the only way I'm going to stop the journalist is if I take out Gortash's guards. But I can't do that because I haven't saved Will's dad yet, so... We're probably not going to do that yet. There's also the whole thing about the hag survivors. We maybe we'll do this one. Baron's Coop? Where the hell is that on the map? Murdered- Here. You guys want to go here? We can find out what's going on. We should. We should. Um... Why would anyone want to hurt Cora? Let me talk to Cora though. I still can't believe- Why would anyone want to kill me? <laughs> I can fix her. <laughs> Thank you for saving us. Is there nothing I can do for you? Is that it? Is she just a, the target on the map, I guess? Goodness. Okay. I just hope the children are safe. Okay, if we find any more murder targets nearby, I will go to them, okay, guys? How many barrels of wine will we need? Enough to make the gas again. This is just knives. So Ooh, hello. Lots. Yep, it's just knives. Okay. Um, so we need to go this way? Is this right? Oh no, no. I'm See, I'm bad at direction. Please don't judge me, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wrong way, wrong way. Down here, down here. <laughs> Terrible at direction. Sorry, everybody. Okay, these are just that. Okay. And go down here. I think the gazette is over here, yeah. What is this house? I walked past it and it was like no one's allowed in here, but like why? This is Joel's house. No letters, no clerics. Should no I break into his house? No potion peddlers and no steel watch. Trust no one. Alright, babe, it's your time to shine. <laughs> Lockpicking is attracting attention. Tread carefully. Um. Um, who looked at me? Oh, is this lady? Ma'am, go look somewhere else. Okay, well, I unlocked it. We'll come back because this fucking lady's looking at me. Okay, so we need to. Oop. We need to go here. Oh, is it like down here? How the hell do I get down there? I think it's down there. Yeah, we have to go down here. Okay. I'm not good at reading maps, everybody. Yeah, breaking and entering is always the answer. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, is it locked still? What? What? It's still locked? Time for discretion. Okay, wait. I'm gonna try this again. I thought I unlocked this, no? I think maybe I didn't get to finish because that lady interrupted me. Not a sound. That's curious. What is? Oh, there's some. Oh, there's a key right there. Joel's chest key. Just breaking into this man. I don't even know who Joel is. Sorry, dude. Starting. You can get up. Let's see if there's like anything in here. Linen. Letter from... Sili? Sali? I don't know how to say that. Father, I've heard about the risk show decisions in the city. I know you're absolutely unforgivable. Uh, when it comes to shopping for yourself, so I sent some uh, victuals that could see through the whole season if you are if you pace yourself. Do it for me. Hmm, I love you very much. And I will be home for a long visit before you know it. God's willing. Will you tell Cathora I said hello and I sent you an only you're my love a thousand times over? 
Wait, was this not the key that I just picked up? No. Oh. It's not. Interesting. Crack is I figured it'd be for this chest. It's for something else. Sun soul? Huh. Watch the All right. shadows. Alright, I did my part. <laughs> I did my part, everybody. We broke into Joel's house and we got a key. I don't know what it's for. Deadline Who's this guy? Him. Hello. Do you know how hard it was to get those cabbages into the city? No, you're impossible. Oh, his cabbages <laughs> fell out of the car. <laughs> Sir! <laughs> Poor dude lost his cabbages. Should mind my step. All right, where are we on the map? There's a murder target, so we'll we'll talk to them too, since they're just close by. Left, left, right. Maintain your distance. Area under active investigation. Oh by shit! Order of the flaming fist. Wait, why? Is that an avatar reference? busy with their patrol and has no time for idle chatter. Wait, can, can I walk past you then? Are you gonna care? I guess not. How do we get get into these places? Okay, I guess we're just going in here because I went the wrong way. I'm not really sure. Oh. Oh, I know you! Is that the guild? Might be the guild, I'm not really sure. Property in constant use. Gathering strictly prohibited. Apparently there's a lot of gatherings here anyway. Request to join the hag survivors. Let me read this. I write you to tell you the shame in my heart. My brother, in light of my life, fell prey to the evil hag. Even sought fame and fortune, and she gave it to him. He now sits in my hometown square, a statue of the heart of the fountain. A plaque at his feet that reads, toss a coin for good luck. Water spills into the square sometimes, so overflowing, so the fountain it is the fountain with coppers. I failed him. I was so wrapped up in my own pain that I didn't notice his. And then when I saw the poster advertising your meetings about other hag survivors, could I join? I think it would do my heart good to meet others who have also suffered. I you you think that girl's here? What's that name? The one who wanted to get her husband back? She's probably here, right? Someone there. Oh, for a Baby, can you lockpick this? No one stopped me yet. Hello? Are people in here? Oh, there's no one here. That might be worth a look. Eviction notice. I, I have had it. Snowstorm inside the house, bl blood weeping from the windows, and now Mr. Wimbley's cat vomiting up frogs. The poor man had a bloody heart attack from the shock. I know that you're trying to fight back against the hags or whatever. That's great. Honestly, but I can't risk the neighborhood just because you're stupid enough to piss off a hag. Keep your rent. I want all of you out tomorrow. Oh no! So where do they go? They're gone. Yeah, um, Marina, that's her name. Tension, have you been hit? Yeah, we saw that poster. So they got evicted. Where'd they go? I'm gonna just rob the place though, if that's cool. Hag research notes. Collection of book titles. Huh. I'm gonna take that in case. I don't know, I feel like maybe I need that. Is there any food I can take that's not expired? <gasps> yeah, give me that. Give me the onion. You guys ever see that video? Right. Oh! Who's well, I hope. Not you, Is sorry, hun. <laughs> I meant the letter. Dear Miss Adriel, Clyde found a place. Nice old man called Mr. Garlow used to live here, but his neighbor said he doesn't live here anymore. Clyde thinks it's perfect. We can hide from the hag or fight or whatever you think is a good idea. Clyde knows we'll have a good plan. Clyde will wait at old Garlow's for you. Bye, Clyde. Okay, so we have to go there now. Don't waste a step. Okay, let me see if we can... Where's their house now at? No. 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 Oh, damn. Where is it at? Oh. 
Um, here we go. Oh, it's even f it's further into the city. Jesus, this map is huge. <laughs> This map is huge! There's so much shit you can look at! It's Roger, crazy! Ever since I left. Okay, so where exactly is it? Past this. Okay, so we gotta go past that. Oh my god. I'm so scared, I feel like I'm gonna miss something. That's what I'm worried about. Can we go down here? This is like the port side, right? Okay. Guys, for forgive me. I'm just trying to navigate and make sure I'm going the right way. So this is supposed to be the toy maker guy. Okay, that's the toy maker guy. There's just like a lot of places. This map is huge. I have a question because I don't know, you know, which part is it. But I know they said they cut out some part of the game. Was it like the upper city? Is that what they cut out? Let's do that, please. What the fuck is going on here? Oh, hell no! Wait, hello? Who's this? Little alone found his forts gutted. Didn't see it happen, though, thank the gods. City's home to some proper sick bastards. What happened? What happened? I... I got lost. And then, when I found Mommy and Daddy again... They wouldn't get up. I shouldn't have run away. Oh no. I'm sorry. Oh, that's her. Oh that no. Oh no, don't steal. I was. Oh, sorry. I was not trying to steal. My bad. Oh, poor kid found his parents like this. It's a tragedy, yeah. But it's not like we can look after him. Dude, you're a dick. Does not respond. Oh my gosh. The corpse run I hate that. I hate that I can't speak to every dead corpse. I wish I could help this kid. Oh man. Okay, I'm I'm trying not to run into any of like the companion quests because I don't have Gale with me either. So sorry guys, I keep looking at the map because I'm trying to make sure I don't run into it. And start another quest by accident. <laughs> I'm not trying to do that right now. Okay, these are like merchants. Great. So, can we? I guess I I can go through here. What's happening over here? As you can see, there's no trouble here, right? And I'm sure you don't want to cause any. Okay. Uh, sure. Um, am I gonna do mods in the next playthrough? Yeah, I'm probably going to. What? Have you fallen foul of a cultist curse? Been addled by an oh god, is he selling something? Not sure. Best stock up on charms, just in case. <laughs> what exactly are you selling? Protection, of course. Who knows the horrors these cultists have up their sleeves? Can't be too prepared. Okay. Let me see what your. Let me see what it is. Dude, you're just selling jewelry. Sir, this ain't protection. Like, this is a scam. Guaranteed. His name is Honest Vendor. I doubt that. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. I'm not stupid. I know it's probably a scam. But what if it's not? Girl, it's a scam. I, I don't know what else to tell you. It's not real. Okay, I have to go down. What is this house? Let's see what this does. Flynn's Cobblers. Walk in a pauper, strut out a duke. Is this for clothes? Because I'm all about clothes. Hello? Hi! Hmm. What's that? Portrait of Gortash? Oh, okay. 
be very welcome to Flim's Cobblers, humble family home of our <gasps> Archduke Enver Gortash. He may not have followed in his old man's shoe steps. Oh, shit! Archduke's not so bad, is it? Gortash's dad. He seems proud. Oh! This is awkward. This is Gortash's... Oh. Um. Oh! I normally don't do this. Should I try to probe his mind? I don't like to assume because like, you know, sometimes the family members are just normal and they're not crazy. It just might be his son, you know? <laughs> Let me quick save. Uh, see if I can probe his mind. Oh my gosh, give me guidance. All right, let's see what we can find out. Sorry, sir. Nothing. It's as though the inner workings of his mind have been wiped clean. What? What? Did they erase his memory or something? Yo, Gortash's father, then. He's the image of me, isn't he? Always was a handsome devil. Yeah, you guys totally look alike. Okay. Can I see your stuff? Okay, yeah, that's nice. You got boots, okay. Finest leather in the city. Ask anyone. Huh, what's that painting though? He's gonna see me do it. The trader has no problem oh, shit, sorry. inspecting these goods, so long as you're willing to pay for I need to distract this guy somehow. Okay. Okay, hang on, hang on. Let's let's snoop around. If this is his like family like store, we're snooping around. Oh, there's a lady here. Is this the mom? Ah, sir, you've chosen a special day to visit the family home of Archduke and Virgo She's got a nice dress though, I'll give her that. We're celebrating our dear son's magnificent achievement with a special run of leather-soled shoes. Gods, Gortash has a mother. <laughs> I seem to sprang fully formed from a lich's ass crack or something. <laughs> Carl, like, you're so funny. I'm kind of confused, and I'm not trying to say anything, but, like, normally, you know, in high fantasy stories... The family name is pretty important. Why do they have different last names? Is that just like me or something? I don't know. Okay, anyway. Let's probe her mind too. Ooh. Oh, wow. I'm not bloodless. Did I forget to tell Asterion to drink my blood? I think I might have. <laughs> help me. Dear gods, help me. Your tadpoles squirms. These people are infected with the parasite, but something is off. What the fuck? Oh, okay, 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 okay. You search her mind, but the psionic forces that control her are different, split somehow. Your own consciousness slips into the gap. Help me, God, help me. Envers ruined my mind, he's taken my body. I should have slammed the door in his face, but I let him in and he ran some kind of worm in our eyes. I'm here, but I can't speak. I the can't same thing like Will's dad. I'm trapped. It's the same thing. Why would Enva do this to you? He said he wanted to make us powerless. Still bitter after all these years, but we did what was best for him, for all of us. We had debts, world-ending debts, trying to keep this cursed shop afloat. Dangerous lenders who said they'd bury us all if we didn't pay. Then a warlock offered us a pretty penny for Enver's service. He was a smart boy. Too smart. It was give him up, 
and all of us live or refuse and die. What choice did we have? Oh, so you sold out your son? Damn! I mean, in, in a way, even though I don't like Gortash, I kind of get why he's pissed off. His parents sold him out. I'm a, I'm gonna be I'm gonna I'm gonna be real right now. I'm, I'm gonna be straight up real. That's kind of fucked up. You had every choice. You sold your son to a warlock. That's unforgivable. We got good coin for him. Closed our debts and all of us kept our lives. Enver included. You may disagree, Enver did, but we don't deserve this, this torment. You're the first person who's heard the real me in months. Am I wrong? Like, I feel like that's kind of fucked up to do. I get you're in debt. But like, damn, you didn't have like any other options as aside selling your your son. Jesus Christ! <laughs> and they're suffering. That's fucked. Um, I'm just gonna be real. We can't really do anything at the moment until we take out Gortash and stuff. There's nothing I can do for you, at least for now. I'm sorry. There has to be. I can't live like this. I'm trapped. Trapped. This is the only other option I can do for you, ma'am. I can put you out of your misery if you'd like. There has to be another way. I deserve to live again. I deserve my own life. Okay, let me leave for now. Wait, wait! Your tadpole lashes and recoils. The connection is broken. Come again soon. Am I wrong, guys? Should I should I have said, oh, that's a good thing? But, like, I don't think it is. Like, low-key, it's a little bit deserved. Even though I don't like Gortash, it kind of is. So, Gortash's parents sold him to a warlock. Why does that sound so familiar? Right. I've got no interest in empathizing with the fuck. That's fine. But maybe what he did to me was some kind of mirror of what happened to him. When you get fucked up, you fuck up right back. That's usually what happens when people are, like, hurt. They try to do it to someone else. This is why people need therapy in Boulder's Gate. Anyway, um, before I look at that painting, let's go upstairs if I can. Let's see. Probably he wanted them to feel trapped. You're probably right. That's probably what it is. Almost like you don't have a choice and you don't have to kill her. Huh. Reminds me of something that uh, she said about Gortash. Oh, is this? This is new. Sanitation strike by sewer kobolds? Steel watchers great, greet our new protectors. Public park, public disgrace. Another gaff from buffoon Duke. Dillard Porcher. Elf Song Tavern charges uh, char changes its tune. Sorry, refugees from East Unrest arrive in Rivington. Are vampires real? Parchers say no. Well, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right. I'm the therapist. That is true. I am the therapist. Ooh, Gortash. What is progress? Progress is the movement of society and culture towards the state of a collective unity. Without unity morals, each with their own individual agenda, blunder against each other, causing friction, conflict, and war. Unity, peace, and prosperity is achieved when the collective follow a single agenda that is one superior person. Sir, that sounds like a cult. Um, run away, e e e egocentric or urge often miscall free will, is what the true enemy of unity. Free will must be eliminated. <laughs> Jesus! Control the brain is the control of the brain is key. The netheries tadpole is the perfect tool. Tadpole of the brain, free of egocentric to follow the agenda of unity. The tadpole brain is a happy brain. There is no conflict except against the enemies of unity. And the brain is all you need. Once freed from its agenda of free will, it can be freed of fra uh, uh, fr fralities of the mortal form. 
Uh, the brain can live forever in a steel body or even control the body from afar. It's progress, the ultimate state. Lord Gortash, uh, of course. Do they have anything else in here that I can like look at? What's inside? Can I move this? Hello? Can I know? Oh. There we go. All right, Saren, you know you know the deal. Whatever's behind that lock, it's being watched closely. Best to step away. Why? Oh, they did. St Who's this? Hey, Have a who are you? Mind. And well, in it. Can't I pace and think in peace? The cheek of you. Here's a tip. Latest Boulder's Mouth edition. Oh, dynamite. Who the hell is this? Gortash. What? Ma'am, get out of here. I'm trying to rob the place. Deep and move. Oh, man. Okay. Astarian, my love, do you have, like, invisibility potions still? Oh, you do? Okay. What are we here? A picture of Gortash. They must be very proud of their boy. Can I move it or something out of the way? No? A picture of Gortash. Okay, babe. They must be very proud of their boy. She, does she re she is the reporter I think but what the hell is she doing in their shop is my question ooh scrapbook of letters collection of letters between two correspondents written in the unfamiliar code or cipher at the end of the scrapbook is a sheet titled plain text deciphered by G chosen a ball your proposal is intrigue I'll tell me more about the crown of Carsis Chose our bane. It was created to enhance the broadcast of the dominance of its creator, but during the folly, it was intervened. Turn inward now instead of the we wearer dominating others. Others can dominate the wearer. Chosen a ball. Useful. I like it. How do you exert this dominance? Chosen a bane. The crown has three uh, begemmed finals, but it's their foci and they are detached. Chosen a ball three. So that's why our masters want Merkel added into the cabal with the crown on the right. Cranium, we would rule from the shadows, but how do we get it? Chosen a bane. Uh, we steal it from Mephistopheles himself, and I know who can get us there. A diabolitus named Halsic? Who the hell is that? We're taking that, the hell? We are taking that. Dread rightly. That was weird. All right, we're gonna leave his parents for now. Okay. Okay, I think they're down see here. Gazetteers around? Need to see if the new edition's out yet. Ma'am, are you following me? Leave me alone. What house is this? Warning: the property of the individual known as Old Garlo has been deemed unsafe for habitation under city bylaw 40 but this is where they're hi do this not is where they're hiding. enter <gasps> we can enter the back they have like a whole opening here and leave our leader the one i will remember that name don't worry i kept the journal no my honor won't allow it what was that Claire, I don't know it. Should I bust through the back or break open this door? Hold on. Because people are looking at us. Let's go here. Okay, Carlac, you're going to have to do this. You're the strongest one. <laughs> Can I move this? Oh, I can just break it. What the hell? Nice. At least things have stayed interesting. As we leave our leader, the one who saved us. Hello. <laughs> A 
an intruder. These people are under my protection. I'll not let you harm them. Hearken uh, to my words, wicked creature. Whoa! Return to the pit of evil from whence you came. What the? That's rude. Um. <laughs> Calm down. I seek no trouble. Don't listen. Who knows what spells it weaves around us? Quickly, cleric. Helm, protector of all. Grant me the power to ignite this creature's flesh and burn its bones to ash. Be gone, monster. Your hag mother holds no power here. Persuasion, the hag is after you. I can help. I fought one before. We'll just say that because I'm not here to like fight anybody anyway. All right, help me out, Shadowheart. Wait! Clyde smells no lie. Then you speak truth. You fought a hag before. Carl, like you're in the way. <laughs> everyone, we may have found ourselves an ally. Forgive the paranoia. We're being hunted by a vile and wicked hag. Wait, didn't didn't the hag not her, die? I didn't kill her. She's already hexed one of us, and any of us could be next. Um, why is she hunting you? Because we dared to do the impossible. We dared to fight back. To be fair, I also did the same thing. All of us here have fallen victim to a hag's vicious ways. But instead of succumbing to despair, we rose above it. Thanks to Marina, our <gasps> leader. Together, we've been helping others who've suffered at the claws of a hag. Only, Marina's been hexed by the very hag who now hunts us. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I didn't kill the hag because I was trying to, like, save her, right? And then I made a deal with her and the hag said, I'm leaving, but I always come back. So technically, I did not kill her, but... When I did do that, she was mad at me because I, I didn't let the hag help her husband. That's why she was mad at me. So, she's been hexed? Mayrina, I know her. She was captured by Auntie Ethel. You're the one that saved her. The one that ventured to the depths of Ethel's lair. I can hardly believe it. You look so... Normal. Is that fine? I <laughs> perhaps there is hope. If anyone normal? can help Marina, it's you. She's upstairs. But be warned. She's not as you remember her. Why? What ha what what do you mean by hex? Like you know what I mean? Like what kind of hex are we talking about? Cuz like she looked fine when we left, but I don't know. Sorry, I'm just going to rob them. the power to defend his innocence against the hag. Can I talk to her before I I go? Sorry. Hi. I'm glad you're here. I clearly lack the power to keep the hag and her hexes away from Marina. You protected Marina until now. That's what's something. You are kind. But I serve Helm. And failing to keep this hex from Marina is unforgivable. In both his eyes. Um, who's Helm? Can you mine. guys can you guys give me a uh, uh, like a like a summary of of, of them? Because I, I actually don't know. I do remember reading that. Um helm but i just don't know the context of like what kind of god they are um any idea on how to remove the hex none the magic originates from a hag's twisted lair of that, even if I'm you sure. kill her she'd come back oh but as to its cure i guess that kind of makes sense because helm she did say i always come back me. so i'm not gonna say you should leave because like she clearly wants to protect them so i'm not gonna do that Let's see what else we got in here what's this safe <laughs> I'll give it a Helm shot. Helm Boss Journal. Ooh. Stripped away honest hag. And then Mayrina found me. She helped me remember why the tenants I, I once fought for courage. On her duty, she brought back to me she brought me back to Helm. She saved my life. Now Saver, my friend, is in pain and hexed by a hag. Trapped in the body of a sheep. It was my job to protect and oh no. She's sheep. She's a sheep. Upstairs? Oh, she's a sheep. Okay, that's not good. Let me talk to you guys. What's up for discussion? Helm, if I am not well. Convenient. 
You showing up like this. You may have the others fooled, but I shall be keeping a close eye on you. Okay, sir, I'm not here to, like, cause trouble. I mean, Rena's an old friend. I wouldn't hurt her. Then stop wasting my time and go help her. Oh, damn, all right. I was trying to talk to everybody. <laughs> Please help Lady Marina. She's nice and kind and sweet to Clint. Uh, to uh, everyone. Any idea? Wait. <laughs> I found her more sour, to be honest. You and Marina sound close. Friends only. Lady Marina is too pretty. And kind for the likes of Clegg. I have some speak but if you can't speak to animals potion, don't worry. <laughs> I'll do that though. That's a good idea. Feeding. Cheering. Scratching behind her ears. Cled will do his best. <laughs> Cled, you're very sweet. <laughs> oh my god. Um, so basically it's a deity of clerics, <laughs> guardians of protectors, the watchers keep with built in helms name. Oh, okay. Interesting. Thank you. Okay, let me. Where the hell is it at? There we go. All right, let's go talk to them. Oh, oh, her fucking husband too. My Rena, it's me. I'm here to help you. All right. What about it? Uh Is is uh, is this something to do with your hex? The doll. Find the doll. That doll? Oh. Uh. Hi Connor, the uh, been a while. Okay. Uh this thing? Do I have to pick it up? Oh god. What a strange looking doll. <laughs> oh shit. Wait, can we not- Hang on, wait! Do I have to break it or something? Hang on, let me quick save. If I have to, I'll fucking blast this thing. Looking dull. Bad omen. Resistance, piercing, fire. <laughs> Strange looking dull. Where'd it go? What? Where'd it go? <laughs> what? What? Is it down here? I think I have to destroy it, right? Oh no, it's over here. I think. <laughs> yeah, it's in here. It's in here. Something good here, I hope. Okay. Why is it always a creepy doll? I don't know. It always is, isn't it? Okay, back up, everybody. Maybe a missile? Can I use missiles on you? Oh, I did it on the cabinet. God damn it. <laughs> It's over, it's over here. Listen, I'm gonna try it. Wait, oh, I, I can't smack it, can I? You're not gonna like this, mate. <laughs> oh, shit! Wait, what? Wait, what? Why are we fighting? I killed her. Let's grab what we can. Okay, my, my bad. <laughs> my 
my bad. I, I, well, hey, at least we know, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oops. We gotta find a different way. <clears throat> I don't know if I have any scrolls that can, like, remove curses. I'm, I must, because I picked up a lot of scrolls. I imagine maybe I have something at camp. I could look. Yeah, guys, it's for science, guys. Come on. It's, it's for science. <laughs> we gotta find- We gotta figure out what's gonna happen, right? It's for science. You know? We'll try something else. So that didn't work. Attacking it doesn't work. If I have removed curse... <laughs> okay, Must hang on. on. Way. Can Shadow Heart? Does she Whatever have something like that? Best no, bestow curse she has. Polymorph. And no. Um. Okay, hang on. Let me see. Does anybody have something like that? Let's see what we got. Polymorph. Caution stone. Uh, no. Slow scrawl. No. It might be in my chest. I might have to go back and get it. Um. Banishment. Charm. No. Damn. Okay. Might be one of her healing, do you think? What else do I have? Resistance. Prayer of healing. Queen death. I wonder if she has like more. Cleric. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Death ward. Dominate person. Light. Uh, I don't think so. Wait. Making wait. me sweat. Do you, I don't think you guys really have anything, right? No. I don't have rest. shit either that can do it. I just have like a hold thing. All right. What now? I might have to go back to camp and see if I have anything. What is this? Hello? Can't give up now. Page that written in elegant cursing and soon devolves into a scrawling mess. I dream of Ethel again. She laughed, mouth full of my guts as she ripped my baby from my stomach with her teeth. I screamed. And so did the babe. But then it changed into a doll. <laughs> A horrible looking thing. I woke up freezing cold but burning hot. Will I ever escape this goddamn witch? I saw the doll again, but n it was no dream. Clyde was telling me about the nice cloud he saw outside. When I spotted it over his shoulder, was staring at me, I screamed. And poor Clyde uh, started screaming too, so I lied and said I saw a mouse. I think I just need sleep. The doll is everywhere. I tried to warn the others, but I can't speak, can't walk. My fingers stiffen as I write. Adrian, get. Is this her baby? Cause she's she just says she sees her baby as the doll. Oh no. Okay, hang on. Is there anything else I can like loot? Oh, what's up here? Step forward. Whoa, hello. Uh, that is creepy. Extremely. Hey, food. Sorry. <laughs> I always need that for for camp. Yep. Give me that. Need it for camp. What's out here. Uh, oh, hello. Fancy. Anything up here I can take? Okay. 
Oh god, the camera. <clears throat> Hello? Where am I going? Oh, there we go. Oh, this camera- this camera's freaking out, sorry. Okay, nothing here. Just wanted to see if there's like anything else out here. No traps, please. Dude, I I love stealing. I love taking. I I love taking things. It's great. Can I switch your stuff over? Am I allowed to Let's do that? Wait, actually, let me go to camp first. I'm pretty sure I have a skull to remove curses anyway. I'm pretty sure I have one. Still alive. Where the hell is so the chest at? Progress. Let's see. I think it was you. Yes. What does remove curse look like? What does it look like? Uh, what does it look- oh god. What it looks like! my god i don't do i not have one or maybe i gave it to somebody in the party i just don't know who uh oh i don't think i have one i have the blue one wait i do where god damn it chat is delayed so i don't know <laughs> oh i do you're right i do oh god i only have one i only have one I gotta save just in case I fuck this up. <laughs> okay, how do I use it? I've actually never used a... I don't think I've ever used a scroll. I'm pretty sure I haven't. Let me just do a sweat save real quick. You can play as K. Uh, no, it's not backseat game because I actually don't know how to do that. And change her spells. I... Really? Okay, we'll try it afterwards. So, like, what do I do? Just, just like, use the scroll? I should always save. You're, you're totally correct. <laughs> you're totally correct. Like, do I just use it? Because it's single use action, right? Is that how that works? Watch me fuck this up somehow. Examine. You click on it and use, and then, and then it will, it will become like a spell slot. Oh! Hey! <laughs> moved my hex. Ah, uh, that's annoying. I wanted to play a little longer. <gasps> Auntie likes her toys broken. She's not going to be happy. I had to get my hands dirty. Bitch! What the hell? What? Tell me who you are now. I don't matter. Only Auntie does. What? They want to hurt Auntie. They Yo, fuck your Auntie. I will die before I let anyone touch a hair on her head. Okay. Um. The hag charmed you. You don't know what you're saying. Huh. You have it. no idea how wrong you are. I have worshipped her for decades past. No wonder this guy's been acting suspicious. More. Telling us to get us killed and stuff. <gasps> no way! Oh shit, we're up here. Okay, hang on. Uh, I could just break the floor, but I don't want to hurt myself. Don't linger. What is this guy doing down here? <laughs> Oh, oh, what the, what the hell? Was he not actually a lizard? What was he? Clementine quit, honey. There's nothing wrong. 
I can't reach him. Bastard. I might as well shoot him. What is going on? Oh, this bastard can teleport. He can teleport. He can tell. I don't know why he was under the stairs. He can teleport though. <laughs> He's Harry Pottering. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh, this is not what I wanted to happen. Okay. Don't know if this will work, but I'm gonna try it. <gasps> Shadowheart, why are you always missing? Never a dull moment. Bro, what the fuck? I'm gonna try to shove him too. Fuck this guy. <laughs> Dude, not not the husband! Hang on, I may have to reload this because like I don't want Marina's husband to die like that. Oh my gosh. I don't know how to do this. Um, wait, can I get him from up here? Shit. Okay, never mind. Hey, there's nothing wrong with you. Stop. What's the matter? Guys, hang on. Guys. I think Clementine wants me to like put her on my bed. I don't know. What do you want, babe? Can you go hop up on the bed? Is that what you want? Come on. Hang on a second, okay? I'm just gonna put my dog. She wants <laughs> she she wants to go put me on on, on her bed, so hang on, okay? <laughs> Since since Clementine has the cone on her head, she's like scared to jump up in our bed cuz she usually sleeps in our bed. She's scared to jump up in the bed because she's scared like the cone's going to get like stuck or something like that. So she always asks me to pick her up. What kind of dog is Clementine? She's part Labrador. I don't know what the other half is, but her mom was a lab. <laughs> okay. Let's let's continue this. God's it's hot in here. Carla, are you go Oh, she's bleeding, no wonder. I was like, what's wrong with her? I've got it. What? Oh, I'm thinking of oh damn, I did it wrong. It's okay, it's okay. Can you not shoot this thing? Oh shit! My bad, guys. Sorry. The game's not on the screen. You're good. You're good. Hey, they just summoned more fucking crabs. What? Um. I don't know if this is gonna work. Poison that asshole. No choice but to keep going. Hmm. If I do acid, oh, it's gonna splash us. This too, right? Try not to get any of us. Fuck. No, I'm too close. Bro, 
cry. <laughs> I might have to restart this battle though. I don't know. You deserve this. Prick. I don't know. I might have to like restart it because like are the crabs down here dead? We're good, right? I can go upstairs? Okay. I'll be right back. No, don't rob the guy. Up. Aye, aye. Listen, I know he's kind of close, but I gotta try. God damn. Connor's straight up like dead, dead. He dead, dead again. Oh shit. Okay, we're okay. <laughs> I thought maybe Rita was screwed there, sorry. Maybe I could rev. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Hey, Marina, come back. Hey, hey, hello. Gone. That lying, thieving, scaly little shit. Thanks for knifing the bastard. You're welcome. That makes twice you've saved me. I'm starting to think you're my guardian angel. Girl, we were never enemies. You just need to calm down. Um. <laughs> see the tired of saving people. It's good to see you again, Marina. You too. I've come a long way since we last met. Decided I was sick and tired of feeling stupid, helpless. So I decided I wasn't going to be a victim anymore. Good for you. This group is made of survivors. People like me who've been hurt by hags. I brought them together to fight back. We trapped a hag to the city, but lost her trail. Right after she snatched a little girl. Um, any leads on the missing girl? None. Her mother has no idea of what she's up against. Poor woman thinks the fist will be able to help oh, her. Oh, girl, yeah, they're not the gonna help. When I started investigating the missing girl, I felt the hag's eye on me. Next thing, I was sprouting wool and bleating up a storm. Um I'm here to help. I'll start by speaking to the child's mother. Thank you. With you at our side, that hag won't know what hit her. Check the safe in the back. I've done my homework on hags since we last tangled with Ethel. Take whatever you need. I know it by heart anyway. Okay. Laura was knocking about Basilisk Gate at the Flaming Fist's headquarters. Good luck. Yeah, honestly, that's some... J Jesus. Thank you. That's some character development. That is true, because she was absolutely del delusional back then. Ooh, Ethel's key layer? What the hell? My darling, Auntie has sent you a little present, a hex doll just for Marina. Use it to scare her and her little cronies off. Or butcher them. I don't care. Uh, just find that book, or I'll rip your lungs out and feed them to your brothers. Lots of love, Auntie. Taking that note. Okay, um, hang on. What about Connor? Hello? Should I reload for Connor? I don't know. I have something to ask. Is this safe, right? Yeah. The Dragonborn was Clet's friend. Why? Why would he hurt Lady Marina? Because it's not actually who you think he is. He was only pretending to be her friend. It was all a ploy. But Lady Marina was kind to him. To us. Anyone who hurts Lady Marina is Cled's enemy. But anyone who helps her is Cled's friend. Thank you. Yo, Cled's kind of like adorable. <laughs> like he's kind of cute. Wait, um, let me get this What's first. Here? 
Ooh, Hunter's Guide to the Hag. Okay. Um, all but arrogant hands, night from the bear, no death possibilities. As such, they won't hesitate to bend the rules of the material plane to escape death's clutches, returning stronger than ever. To do this, hags use things about the common humble mushroom. By imbuing these spores, producing fungi with her essence, she can endlessly revive herself from a mushroom? Neither blade nor bow will do these fungi lasting harm. They very twisted magic will heal the hag uh, defends th the hag will defend them. Uh, instead, fire is your ally. Burn the mushroom to oh, that's perfect because I am a fire mage anyway. <laughs> burn the uh, uh, burn the mushrooms to ashes, and your blade will strike the hag's heart true. But warning, hunter, even in death, the hag is dangerous. Be quick, swift, and be deadly. He's just living with vibes. True. What is this? The girl is dead. We were close to perfecting another day. It would have been safe, but they were too late. It was too much for the mother. I found her swinging from the rafters this morning. Oh, Helen, forgive me for not saving you. Forgive me for the for not saving the child. Two years and eaten alive by the hag. What is wrong with this world? But it doesn't have to be this way. I'm onto something, and I know it. Hags have powerful digestive systems. It allows them to turn uh, a child into a hag. However, their gut flora is incredibly sensitive to certain alchemy agents. With the right ingredients, the and the helm on my side, I could theoretically force Nemesis causing the hag to vomit up the stolen child. I pray this works. And I'll never have to use it. Ooh! Hag's Bane. Oh, fascinating. Okay, yeah, we'll take that. Um. Did you find the missing girl's mother? Oh, sorry, my bad. Uh, you, I need to talk to you. This is all my fault. Marina was hexed mere days after the Dragonborn joined us. Why didn't I see it? Um. Hag the and their agents are liars and cheats by nature. That's no excuse. Girl, don't be too hard. At least not. you're trying to protect Yet her. Still, I welcome the Dragonborn with open arms. Marina was right about you. Thank you for saving her when I couldn't. Dude, she's too hard on herself. What's in here? Cursed. I beg of you. Okay, let me see if they have anything here, because I'm gonna just take whatever I can. Oh damn, it's all rotted. Never mind. Nope, nope, not interested in that. <laughs> um. Alright. Are you serious? Keep your distance, darling. I'm gonna lockpick my way out of here. <laughs> what to do? Okay. Notice of intimidation. What about them? You want them flooding in here, driving down our wages even more? What is going? Why is their armor just hanging no. out here? Wouldn't want that. Fiance. I'm on my break. Let me have some peace, won't ya? Dude, you're just like yelling at this woman. What are you talking about? Okay. Anyway, whatever. Um. Let me see. Here we go. Okay, this kid. Oh, okay, we have to go all the way back here. All right, here, here we go. We're gonna travel all the way back. Can I go up here? Am I allowed? Something's on my mind. We serve oh. Lord Gortash and the city of Baldur's Gate. I wasn't talking to you. Why were you speaking to me all of a sudden? What's this? There's sickness in our city, dear reader. Nibbles on the council's ears. I still have to deal with that, but I can't even, like, do anything about it. 
Can I go in here? Am I allowed? Hello? Is that what this is? Of course not. Simply tell me why you're here. Wait, are they done yelling? Are you guys done yelling? Hello? Okay. <laughs> How many times do I need to say it? You sent words about a lead. Said that I should come see you about it. Of course, madam. Let me just... <sighs> Forgive me. Why are you here? Is this some kind of sick joke? Do you have any idea what I've been through these past few days? Is this a trick? You're Laura, right? And your child is missing? Yes. Her name is Vanra. You stupid, useless fist. Said she had a lead. But she must have been stuck in dream mist or something. Madam, tell me. You said... What's wrong with her? She was... Is it tadpole or is it the hag? Taken from a tavern? You catch the barest tendrils of magic coiled around the flaming fist. Yes. Wait, the girl, there's something wrong with her. Down by the docks, I told you a hundred times. Why aren't you listening? Okay, let's examine the flaming fist. Let, let me see what's wrong with them. Shadow, help me out here. <laughs> Oh my god, reroll, reroll. Jesus. Someone or something has tampered with her memory. What um What were we discussing? What is happening? I feel like I'm going mad. Someone has tampered with the flaming fist memory, perhaps a hag? A hag? Preposterous. No such creature would dare set foot in the city. Don't scare me more than I already am. What would a hack home with my Vanra? She's just lost. Oh, she doesn't know? Girl, I'm don't be in denial either. I'm so afraid. I'm so tired. I've been looking night and day everywhere I could. I've no family. And Vanra's father isn't around. A flaming fist for my no, last resort. No, I'm here. I can help you. I'll help find your daughter. You will? Thank you. I haven't slept a ring since she disappeared. Loki, she kind of does look like Yenna. You're, you're right. What's happened to her? Her name is Vanra. She's seven years old. And has red hair. Like me. We were in the Blushing Mermaid when she was taken. Just stop by the docks. Um. Was anyone else with you? No. Unless you count a couple of old drinking mates at the next table. But they'd be no help. They barely remember their own names. I was sober though. I swear. I stop in the maid for a drink sometimes. But it was only a quick one. Okay. Um. You must have some witnesses, surely. Of course. The front of the house, both some Gannett was there, and the owner of the Blushing Mermaid, Captain Grizzly. Neither lifted a finger to help me look. It was awful. Well, it's okay. We'll, we'll help you right now. Thank you. I'll head home. Can't stumble in around these idiots any longer. Come find me the moment you hear anything. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll look. Ma'am, are you alright, though? I apologize for the hassle that woman caused. Such time wasters and troublemakers are a plague on the Flaming Fist. Oh, so we can't even, like, do anything about it. Okay. Blair's part here is perfectly fine. She's simply uh, under tremendous pressure. There's nothing to worry about. Girl, you may want to check her. There's something wrong with her. Just saying. Okay, anyway, uh, anything else I can look at? I can open this door, however. Oh. There's a cook back here. Hi! Cooking as fast as I can. Those fists have got bottomless bellies, I swear. Aw, oh, poor dude. Okay, um... 
Oh, that's a prison entrance. Okay, got you. Okay, so where do we have to go on the map now? Uh, Boulder's Gate. This girl. Blushing Mermaid. Where the hell's that at? Oh, it's up. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, it's over here. It's fast travel over there. Is this guy talking to himself? A druid? Hello, sir! Behold, this tree is plagued by pestilence yet. Damn, I should have brought Halson. <laughs> the goddess Shontia wishes me to save it. I can feel it. This tree? I will cure you of your pestilence. You have my word. Why is that kind of cute, though? <laughs> Why is that kind of cute, just wanting to save the tree? With an undeath to this place. <laughs> Curious. I can't say I've ever noticed the same about you, Astarian. Uh, my whiff is very faint, thank you. Nothing a little bergamot, rosemary, and a hint of aged brandy can't hide. You know this perfect olfactory disguise for a corpse. Honestly, I miss my calling as a perfumer. Clearly thought this through a great deal. I'm impressed and appalled in equal measure. Wait, 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 wait. Did he just say his calling was to be a perfumer? Did he just say that? Is that what he would have been if he wasn't turned into a vampire spawn? What is this place? Do I want to know? Oh god, okay. We're gonna find out. I get so dis- see again, I get so distracted because I need to know what the hell this place is now. What is this? But I was gonna say, they actually make candles that are scented like what Asterion is. Did you guys know that? Hello? What the f- Did you guys- Hang on. Did you guys fucking hear that? I gotta, I gotta up overwrite my old saves. Did you guys hear that? What was that?! Phil Graves Mansion? Should I be here? You are what the fuck? Hey, yo, what's going on in here? What? Whose house is this? Who are you, sir? You have done well. You are released. For now. What the fuck? What did I stumble into? Hang on, what's up here? Is there somebody up here? Oh shit. Oh. I don't know if I should be in here now. Should I go in there? <laughs> Should be looking for the skin! Okay, you know what? We'll come back. We'll come back. We'll come back. <laughs> we'll come back. Hang on. What the heck? I don't want to fight yet. <laughs> Can I close this door? 
no right okay well you know we can come back that's cool i just don't know what was going on there anyway okay this is the firework guy i i really want to oh man i just get so distracted i don't want to just like start a new a new um you know quest while we're doing this one right now that's why Yeah, just normal things, patrolling corpse guard, not a big deal. It's pretty normal, standard in Baldur's Gate, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll put a pin on that. I'm sure it's fine, guys. I'm sure that's fine. Can I go through the gates here? I don't know. God damn, I love this game, but Jesus, it's overwhelming. Okay, there's a murder target in here, too. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Oh, shit, sorry. I always press the wrong button. Seems simple enough. Live music at the singing lute. They sing for their supper while you eat yours. That kind of sounds really sad. They sing for your supper, uh, supper while you eat yours. <laughs> oh, here it is. I found it. Okay. The blushing mermaid. Uh, no description. Okay, I thought there was going to be some sort of description or something. Use? Ooh, letters. Unpaid debt. Okay, you know we'll we'll, we'll gossip about it later. Is this lady okay? This uniform's neat, isn't it? But why am I? <gasps> oh, wait. <laughs> I had a shift at the counting house. Oops. <laughs> Girl, get yourself together. <laughs> okay, how do I get? Where's the front door to this place? Is it down here? There's a. Sir? <laughs> Where's the entrance? Am I blind? Is it up here? Oh, here it is. God. Oh my god, there's another murder target too. Okay, we'll talk to them too. Hang on. Okay, so I have to investigate. Damn, everyone's drunk as hell in this place. Oh, bloody hangover. <laughs> Wait, I can talk to like the bartender or something, right? Hey, you. Seems like a good moment to talk. No pissing or shitting. If you break it, you pay for it. Any fighting and Captain Grizzly or sank you. Got it? Um... I'm here about a missing girl. Vanra? Guards above. Not again. You put a knife on me like the last one and you're getting a boot, you hear? That's bear barking, in case you're wondering. Um... Um, who pulled the knife on you? That woman, Lara, Laura, whatever her bloody name is. Oh. She was screaming her head off about some kid. Yeah, well, that's her daughter. <sighs> Bloody disturbing. Captain Grizzly had to clock her in the end. Threw her out on her arse. Good Captain riddance. Grizzly? Where's that guy at? Captain Grizzly? Who's that? Okay. What's your name? Baby, honey, you gotta calm down, okay? Um, let's see. Who are you? Is there like a door Do back here? Sometimes there is. I don't know. Where the hell is the 
this Captain Grizzly guy? <gasps> There's a cellar door. Yeah, he just decked her and threw her out. What's in here? Um. There's some gold. That's pretty cool. Why do I feel like this is an entrance to something? What are you doing, babe? <laughs> Bear's just licking everything on my desk. <laughs> what are you doing, baby? Curious George. Anyway, um... This seems unsafe. Wait. Hang on, Shadowheart, you can jump. Oh, shit. That's curious. What? That? Yeah, this! like this what's happening is the hag in here is she hiding in the a in the touch. in in the tavern oh i don't like this what is this what is Still this breathing. despite everything you guys know me i got a quick save <laughs> what's going on in here oh yeah this is a oh shit Thank you, Auntie. Yup! She's here! She's here! They're saying Auntie. Oh fuck, her lair is underneath the tavern! Is she in here? Oh no! These poor people. Mask of servitude, yep. Captain Grizzly's down here! Who are you? I don't know who you are. Oh no. Okay, so I. Oh man! I don't want to kill these people either, and I accidentally killed a lot of people the first time I fought her. Okay. Hang on one second. There. No. No. That's not a toy. Stop it. A damn dog. Damn dog. He's, he's, he's there again. In that corner. <laughs> he's just there in the corner again. Babe, you behave, okay? Don't be a bad boy. You be good. Okay? <sighs> I don't know how to do this. Like the I could sneak. Yeah, it's true. I could sneak. But I don't know if um Ethel is here. I'm assuming it's her. Um Oh, maybe I can go through here. Hang on. Like This place. Why does it remind me of Auntie Ethel's home? Because it probably Easy. is. This place is hungry for blood. Oh, there's a vent. Oh, bitch. I want to be, my wife. be wary. This place is trapped. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. <gasps> oh, God, I thought they were coming this way. So there's a trap here. Starium, Starium, disarm this, disarm this, disarm this, disarm this, please, 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 and thank you. Go. Oh dear, someone's left a trap out for us. Wait, is this? <gasps> Fuck. Sorry. It's 
locked. I was trying to concentrate. Babe, concentrate and unlock the door. <laughs> God, my damn dog, I- No! No! Don't play with that, that's not a toy, you stupid bear. <laughs> Clint! He's trying to- He's trying to play with my damn internet modem right now. <laughs> bear! Alright, hang on a second, guys. I'm just gonna put my dog in the other room because he won't leave it alone, so... That's great. <laughs> It's weird. I don't I really don't understand why he's doing this. Like I said, he's never really taken interest in anything on my shelf before. He's lived here for like six months, seven months, and he, he hasn't taken interest in anything in my office until now. And I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, let's continue with this monstrosity. What now? What? Wooden wall? Oh, it's a good thing I did it. Bro, what the hell is this? Is she in here? Ooh, I don't like this. What is that? Oh, the mushroom! Oh, that's the mushroom. Girl, that's the mushroom. What the fuck? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Breathe deep and move. I'm scared. Where's she at? She has to be here. Right? She's got so many. <laughs> that is- oh, oh my god. I did not make the- I, I just walked in there. I have not made the, uh, the hag's bane yet. Maybe I shouldn't attack it yet? But like this is a this is good to like make me survey the area. So there's three of them? I think. Shit. Okay. Yeah, there's three of them. Why do I feel like I can't trust this chest, but I'm gonna look at it. I'm gonna look at it anyway. No, fuck you, I'm taking your money. Okay, so there's three. I should probably make that hag's bane first and then attack her. Right? Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. Oh shit, I clicked Basilisk Gate. I didn't mean to pick that. Okay. 
I think that's gonna be the next thing that I have to do. Okay. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. Alright guys, I, I'm very sorry, but I think I have to end the stream now because Bear needs to get out. He's, I can hear him at my front door. He wants to get out. <laughs> but... Oh my god, this is not what I thought was gonna happen. When when she said she, I'll be back, I'll always be back, she really meant it, didn't she? She really meant it that she was coming back. Just didn't think I would have to deal with her now. Hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to do this. It's just I'm 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 worried that it, yeah, I think you guys are right. If I do attack the mushrooms now, I'd probably kill the kid. She has the kid still. So I'm probably gonna have to like not do that. So that's what we're gonna do. Make the hags bane first, then get the kid out, then attack the mushrooms, and then we have to fight her for real. And hopefully I'll actually kill this lady for once and for all, cause uh, I never got to uh, the last time we saw her. That was a while ago too. But anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. Uh, of course, as always, I'm gonna continue the let's play. Um, I'll look into the other stuff. I still gotta do the murders. I gotta do Shadow Hearts companion quest. I gotta do Gale. I gotta do Asterians. Like, there's so many. And then that house with the ghouls walking. I don't even know what that was. So we still have to look at that too. <laughs> we still gotta do all of that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. I hope you guys have a great day, night, whatever time it is for you as well. And I will see you guys in the next one. I love you guys. Thank you and see you later. Bye!